Hey up campers, how are we all doing? So it's Saturday, 4th of July, Independence Day. There's going to be a lot of people who feel a bit more independent or free today, I guess. Um, <clears throat> could be a bit manic on roads. I'm going to Hereford today, my friend lives there, so I'm going to visit her. Uh, feeling a tad anxious. I always feel a bit anxious on a long drive. Um, it's a long drive for me. <laughs> so, yeah, feeling a bit anxious about that, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Right, I just need to turn off a second. So, I'll probably um, be recording a few things, hopefully. I'm down in Hereford. Uh, and I'll also be doing an update on my diesel heater. And how that's all going. So, yeah. Bye for now. I'm in Wales! Wrexham. On this road, which was fairly quiet. So I don't know if they're still in lockdown. I don't know what's happening with Wales. Um, it's taken just less than two hours to get here. I think I've got another... Um, how many miles have I done? I've done 90 miles so far. I think it's 126 where I'm going. Or it's 156. It's somewhere. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, it's quite exciting to be in Wales. Just, just stop for a pee, in case you care. But I'm going. The River Why. Why? Why not? In Hereford on a very rainy day. Some lovely old trees. So this is a bridge over the River Why. So, last part of the video, um, as you can see, I made it 
down to Hereford. My old girl never missed a beat, which is good. I need to get a fuel filter though, because the fuel filter light's been on for the past two or three weeks. I think. It keeps going on and off, so when it goes off, I forget about it. Uh, but yes, I need to get one of those. Oh, my fridge is not working. Well, my freezer's working, I think. But my fridge isn't. And I'm parked outside my friend's house. And I'm on a bit of a slope. I've used my levelers, but they're not very high levelers. That's what you call them. And uh, I'm still on a slope. So now if, it, if that's stopped the fridge working, I need to put it on the flat. But when I park over the road, I have no internet at all. Bloody three. Rubbish. So many places I don't get internet or get it very well with three. It might be cheap, but... It could be free, but... It could be free, three. It'd still be rubbish, wouldn't it, if you're not getting any signal. So I will have shown some of the surrounding area. Uh, it's really beautiful around here. But uh, this in Kington, it's um, there's, there's not much going on. Which suits some people, but my friends used to live in Bradford. <laughs> and... They're used to a bit more action, a bit more diversity. So they're not overly happy here, really. And they're talking about moving back up north somewhere. Um, but yes, it's, it is lovely. The weather's, weather's a bit better today, thankfully. It's been absolute shite, hasn't it? Bloody raining. But do you know how nice it was to get in my van yesterday and turn my heater on? And with... Within five minutes, I was warm. The luxury. Because of all the rain, it's just made me think about last year. When it just rained non-stop for weeks. Pretty much. And how I didn't have a heater. A lot of the time that worked. Oh, people say it's a game changer. They're not wrong. They're absolutely not wrong have a heater you might better think you you know if you've not moved into a van but you're thinking about it and you're wondering whether to get a heater or not do it because it's the difference between as i've said before being in the back of a van or being in your home when it's warm it just it feels like home so lovely. So it was worth all the hassle. The days and hours <coughs> of hassle. I will do um, a comparison, actually, video between the Propax heater and the diesel heater. Uh, I will do a little bit of research on things to get figures, numbers, as much as I can before I do that though. So watch out for that video. Right, I've got to get off now. I'm going to be probably leaving here tomorrow I think and I'm hoping to go towards Wales because kind of on the border of Wales here, um, it's more South Wales, but I'd like to maybe travel back up through Wales. I want to get to the beach. I think the uh, Wales is opening up again. I was told from tomorrow, the 11th. Well, I did read the other day it was from 13th of July. But obviously things keep changing, so I will have to double check that. I don't want to be run out of town by the locals. So... Yeah, but I need to see some of Wales while I'm down here. So, so yes, I'll be doing some more videoing of that. Right, well, I hope you're all all right. Uh, if you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. 
because you know most of the people who watch my video are not subscribed strangely also give me a like if you've liked anything even if you just like the beautiful scenery and feel free to share this video and on that note I'm going to bugger off so thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.